Hello everyone, back again with Tomi Vasius. In this video, I will provide information about the next event. The next event is, Everglowing Justice event. The character that will be released at this event is Elisa Echo. Physical Amplifier. With the arrival of character like Elisa Echo, there will be meta changes for the physical team. The character who will be removed from the team are, Live Luminance. Elisa Echo will replace Luminance as support. Okay, back to the main topic. So, I will provide information about the next event. First is the login screen. The login screen will be shown like this. Elisa Echo is the newest character. The character that will be released is Elisa Echo. Physical amplifier and has 100% physical. And also, you can get Elisa Echo for free from inside the dorm. You can claim 50 shards in the dorm. Just like the Ayla amplifier. Weapon Elisa Echo is like this. Elisa also has Cub and Signature Memory. As usual, you can buy Elisa Echo's Signature Memory from the event shop later. Later there will be another White Dawn event. Just like during the Live Empyria event. In this event, you can get Elisa Echo's Coding SFX and Coding Weapon for free. The game system is the same. You only need to select an area, fight, or use the skip feature. But my advice is to choose to fight because you will get more rewards. Meanwhile, if you choose the skip feature, the reward you get is less. And the blue cube reward is useful for buying coding SFX Elisa Echo later, as well as coding weapon. Later there will be a new permanent mode. The name of the mode is Clash Reflection. For the game system in this mode, you only need to fight on each stage. Each stage has a level. From level 1 to level 14. By playing this Clash Reflection mode, you can get materials for weapons later. For explanation in the next video later. For this clash reflection mode, has a duration of 14 days, so it will reset later. The fight against boss Lamia will be available later. This gives a clue if the new character that will be released after Elisa is Lamia. For rewards that you can get, such as Lamia stickers, tickets, vouchers and others. Question, have you prepared for Gacha Lamia? For Battle Pass, you can get Coding Weapon Karinina Ember, including other rewards. As usual, Trial Character Mode, you can try using Elisa Echo, and get a reward after completing it. Weapon Upgrade feature has been added. The name of this feature is Weapon Harmonization. This feature is still related to Permanent Clash Reflection Mode. I'll make it in the next video. In Norman Revival Plan Pioneer Battle, Cover Tactic, Stages. Now it can be completed automatically. So you can skip it and it will automatically clear. Deep Dive Mode is back. Just like during the Vera Garnet event. In this mode, you only need to fight in each stage. And buy buff as needed. Gold Rush Mode will also return. I don't know, Kura Game often includes this mode in several events. Maybe Kura Game likes this mode. Puzzle mode will be available at the end of the event. Preparations for the Cradle Parade event later. You will fight the newest boss. This boss is Elisa Echo's father.
So, before closing, will you gotcha Elisa Echo? Or do you just claim 50 shards from the dorm? I hope you are lucky when you pull Elisa later. And, maybe that's enough information for this time. Hopefully it's useful. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Waiting for the next video.